My name is Brian Handley. I'm Managing Director of Resource Options International, and we do retained executive search exclusively for the middle market in the domestic United States. In the summer of 2015, I had a problem. I actually had a lot of problems, but the major problem was my business was very lumpy. Feast and famine, and I'd either be busier than a one-armed wallpaper hanger or have nothing to do and twiddle my thumbs. And my business was okay, and I was ranging in annual revenue from about maybe $400,000 at a slow year to as much as eight hundred dollars in a busy year, but uh, very unpredictable and not particularly consistent. So in uh, July, August of 15, I began doing some research with regards to consultants because the old ways of how I was marketing my business just wasn't working. <laughs> I remember one of my first uh, mentors in the business said, you got to kiss a lot of frogs before you find the prince. Well, my lips were puckered, and I was no more interested in making cold calls and traveling across the country than I was uh, kissing actual frogs. So I did some research, looked for people that uh, knew a little bit about marketing better than I did, even though I had a storied career in marketing. But, you know, kind of like a dentist or a doctor, you never want to operate on yourself. And I was my own worst enemy when it came to the type of marketing programs I knew how to do. I probably talked to 30 different consultants. Um, some of them had no clue about what I did, asked me stupid questions like, so you need to have more candidates, or you know, how do you go about finding clients? And I'm like, dude, that's what I'm talking to you about. But you know, I came across probably four or five of them that looked pretty good, and uh, no one that really offered me a full solution, but I was just about ready to push the button and determine whether or not they could help and we were probably September, October, I guess it was probably close to November timing that I got this email from Andy Whitehead, <laughs> Recruitment Marketing International. I think it was first a LinkedIn request. And I remember showing my wife, Terry, look at this. This guy says he does marketing for recruitment agencies. I must say that I first contacted Andy probably more out of desperation than anything else because rather than pushing the button on four or five people I really didn't believe in. I thought, gosh, maybe I'll just give this guy a try. Let's take another couple of weeks and see whether or not he can help me. And boy, I'll tell you what a ride that was. Um, I must say, and Andy said to be brutally honest, I was a little put off by his funnel. Um, gosh, I think I had a couple of more meetings that were confirmed that were canceled. Um, the first ever contact I got from him was a video where it looked like he was driving in his car in the middle of winter with a, uh, a stocking hat on. I thought, who is this guy? But, you know, kind of got through all of that and began to kind of see the forest for the trees, so to speak. And again, because I was so desperate, I thought at this stage, I've got to give this a try. So went through a couple of emails, went through a couple of you know, preparing uh, backgrounds for Andy to have a discussion. And we finally get our 15 minute strategy call, which I think lasted about 45 minutes. And boy, I knew it was the real deal. Um, one of the things that I liked best about that first conversation with Andy was him really trying to understand how my recruitment business worked. He wasn't trying to force any kind of a template on me. It wasn't you know, here, do this, you know, because this is the way it works and don't do that. Sure, there was a lot of things I knew that weren't working. But for example, he looked at my business building through referrals. And we spent probably the first 30, 60 days really figuring out how to supercharge that and do better. And today my referral business is stronger than ever. So we got going on the program and joined the inner circle towards the end of December of 15. And boy, it's been no looking back. Um, really has been a tremendous ride. I've put in place, you know, things that I think have worked well for me, not every program. I think at first I got advice from a couple of other people that had been in the inner circle that said, listen to every video, you know, read every piece of paper that he has. Well, God, I didn't have enough time for that. You know, there's no way I was going to be able to go through it all. But I kind of picked what I liked and left the rest and put in place uh, a Maven webinar program. I think we're doing our fifth or sixth this month um, and have gotten literally hundreds of thousands of dollars of value from those. I've tried double R, double R. I think it's gonna work better on the candidate side and I'm putting that program in place this month. Um, I've per certainly put 
a lot of very good programs in place that have helped me to better manage my time, uh, the least, not the least of which is getting a virtual assistant, two virtual assistants now, one that's helping with building my database, another that's helping with my content canon, which is going to help build our authority this month, and uh, just time management. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. There's a tool that Andy introduced me through, I think, in my first 30 days. That's Acuity Scheduling. Um, you know, when I would do searches, and I'd have four or five at one time, I'd probably have a thousand resumes and maybe 40 or 50 phone calls that I'd have to make to screen out candidates. I would literally go back and forth with each of these candidates via email, asking for their first, second, and third choices, trying to get a time that worked in my schedule and their schedule. And with Acuity Scheduling for 10 bucks a month, I've literally saved myself hundreds, if not thousands of hours by just sending it out to them and said, hey, pick a time that works for you. Here's my availability. And uh, little things like that, which has really helped me improve the business. My overall goal is to work more on my business and less in it. Uh, I hope at some particular point in the future, I may be able to sell it, but I'm having way too much fun. Uh, my business doubled in the first quarter that I was with Andy. And my second quarter of business was triple the previous quarter. And it looks like we're well on our way to at least doubling the business this year, if not better. And uh, knock on wood, hopefully I'll be doing my first million dollar year. So it's been a great ride. Andy's been a tremendous impact on my business. I've gotten terrific ROI with my investment in the inner circle. I've met others that are part of our inner circle and we've been able to share learnings kind of beyond our Tuesday sessions, which has been fantastic. And in fact, one of my virtual assistants was referred by another inner circle member and I would have never met this person or had the ability to launch my content canon had it not been for the introduction through uh, Andy's inner circle. And uh, I'm sold. Um, I don't need to work with any other consultants. Uh, I told those five or six folks that were waiting for me to push the button that uh, I had found another source to go with. And I'm sticking with the inner circle as long as new ideas keep coming my way and new opportunities are there to build my business. So thank you, Andy. Uh, I know this is a little bit of a longer testimonial, but you did want a timeline. Um, we are now at month eight, I guess, going into month nine. No, that's not right. Completing month nine, going into month 10 in the inner circle. So the nine, ten thousand dollars that I've put into us so far uh, has been tremendously received and responded to and returned with regards to the investment of that little bit amount of cash and what it's done for my business. So thank you. It's been a great ride and I'm looking forward to future adventures down the inner circle trail. All the best. Have a great day and welcome back to the